magandang araw, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay converting fraction to decimal and vice versa. Ito ang rule. To convert a fraction to decimal, divide the numerator by the denominator. Sa example number 1, 1 over 5. Ang numerator natin ay 1 at ito rin ang ating dividend. At ang denominator ay 5, ito ang ating divisor. Hindi natin mag-divide ang 1 kay 5. Kaya, lalagay tayo ng 0 dito, decimal point, at magdagdag ng 0 sa dividend. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Proceed na tayo sa subtraction. 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 0 0.2. Next, number 2. 4 over 9. Ang ating dividend ay 4. Ang divisor naman ay 9. mag a tayo ng 0. 40 divide 9 is 4. 4 times 9 is 36. Then, proceed na tayo sa subtraction. 40 minus 36 is 4. Then, add tayo ng 0 sa dividend. Then, bring down 0. 40 divided by 9 is 4. 4 times 9 is 36. 40 minus 36 is 4. So, we have your 40 divided by 9 again. That is 4. So, kung mapapansin nyo, paulit-ulit lang yung proseso. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 0 0.444 and so on. Or, gagamit tayo ng venculum o yung line sa itaas. 0 0.4 na may venculum sa taas. Next example, we have 8 and 23 over 40. So, ito, may whole number tayong 8 at fraction na 23 over 40. Ang i-convert lang natin dito ay 23 over 40 since whole number na yung 8. So, we have here 23 ang dividend, 40 naman ang divisor. So, add tayo ng 0 sa ating dividend, 230 divided by 40, the answer is... 5. 5 times 40 is 200. Then, proceed tayo sa subtraction. 230 minus 200. Correct. That is 30. Add ulit tayo ng 0. 300 divided by 40. That is 7. 7 times 40 is 280. Then, proceed tayo sa subtraction. 300 minus 280 is 20. Again, add tayo ng isang 0. 200 divided by 40, the answer is 5. 5 times 40, the answer is 200. Then, proceed to subtraction again. 200 minus 200 is 0. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 8 plus 0 0.575 thousandths. Final answer, 8.575 thousandths. Alamin natin ang rule to convert a decimal to fraction. To convert a decimal to a fraction, we have to rewrite the decimal as a fraction whose denominator is a power of 10 or as a decimal fraction then reduce to lowest terms. Example, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4.678 thousandths. So, ito, yung point dito, tawag natin dyan ay decimal point. Yung 4, ang place niyan ay 
ones. Three ang place niyan ay tens. Ang two naman ay hundreds. At ang one ay thousands. Next, after ng decimal, ang place ng six ay tenths. Seven ay hundreds. Eight ay thousands. Example number one, zero point five. So, ang 5 dito ay nasa tenths place. Ibig sabihin, ito ay katulad nung 6 kanina. So, 0 0.5 over 100, i-multiply natin ito sa 10 over 10 since ang 5 ay nasa tenths place. Is equal to so, 0 0.5 is a movement going to the right. Magiging 0.5 times 10 is 5. Very good. And 1 times 10 is 5 over 10. And let us get the lowest term. That is 1 half. We divide 5 and 10 to 2. 5 divided by 1. 5, the answer is 1, and 10 divided by 5, the answer is 2. So, our answer is 0 0.5 is equal to 1 half. Number 2, we have 5, 0 0.005. 5 here is in thousandths place. So, we will multiply... 0 0.005 by 1,000 and that is 5 over 1,000. Next is to get its lowest term. We will divide 5 by 5 and 1,000 to 5. So our lowest term here is 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 1,000 divided by 5, the answer is 200. So, 0 0.5 thousandths is equal to 1 over 200. Next is 0 0.35. So, we will multiply this by 100 over 100 since 5 here is in hundredths place. So, we have 35 over 100. Or if we will get its lowest term, it is 7 over 20. We divide 35 by 5 and also 100 by 5. And we get 7 over 20. Now, let us have 3.8. So, 3 plus 0 0.8, we will just get the fraction of 0 0.8. Multiply this by 10 over 10, we have 8 over 10. And getting its lowest term, we divide 8 by 2, also 10. Divide by 2, we have 4 over 5. So we have here 3 and 4 fifth. Now let us 0 0.3. So you see here the venculum. If it's like that, thus Iso subtract natin yung 1 sa ating denominator na 10. So, we have 3 over 9. At ito ay i-divide natin sa 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 over 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, we have 1 third. Now, let us 0 0.15 with its venculum. So, 0 0.15 times 100 over 100 minus 1, we have... 15 over 99 and we will get the difference so lowest term 15 divided by 3 is 5 over 33 now let us have this one I'll give you a few minutes for number 1 the answer is 8.5 number 2 we have 0 0.5625 number 3 we have 
correct 0.875 number one we have 0.4 is equal to 2 fifth number two we have 3.45 the answer is 3 and 9 over 20 or 69 over 20 and for number three we have 5 over 11 thank you very much